Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're gonna review the financial tax feature in Dynamics 365 Finance. This feature is managed by the Feature Management Workspace and it has been released in version 10.0.32. The financial tax feature provides the capability to define and enter up to 20 user-defined fields or tags on the accounting entries and accordingly, they could be used for the analytical purposes. The financial tag feature supports only specific document types. So in version 10.0.32, you can utilize this feature with the general journal and the global general journal. However, from the feature documentation, I can see the product team mentioned that new documents will be supported in the upcoming versions. Now let's review a quick demo on how to create and define the financial tags. First, I'll navigate to the feature management workspace and ensure that the financial tags feature is enabled. Then on the general ledger parameters form, I'm gonna select the financial tags segment delimiter. Here we have several delimiters. I selected this one. The delimiter that you will specify must not be used in any tag values that are entered on the transactions. It's important to mention that the delimiter can't be changed once it's defined. After that, we can define the financial tags. Let's navigate to the general ledger module, chart of accounts, financial tags, then financial tags. Here, I'm going to define some financial tags that are related to the travel expenses. First, I'll define a financial tag for the ticket number. So I'll click edit new, then I'll give it a name like ticket. Then here in the value type, you can select from three options, text, list, or custom list. I'll select text so the user can just enter the ticket number. Then the second financial tag will be for the workers. And here the value type, I'll select list. Then here I can select from existing data sources. Here we have some values like for agreements for bank accounts or bank account bank accounts name. We have here several values. I'm going to select the one for workers. Then OK. And the third financial tag will be for the line of business. I'll give it a name, L-O-B. Then here in the value type, I'll select custom list. When it comes to define a financial tag for custom list, you can define here the tag values. So I'll click here tag values, then I'll list the values. So the first one, for example, for retail, and the second value for Telecom, then save. After defining the financial tags, we should ensure that they are active. In order to activate or deactivate the financial tags, we can use the activate option. Here we can move the financial tags to the active financial tags, then click activate or deactivate tags. Now let's review how to enter and maintain the financial tag values on the general journals. I'll navigate to the general ledger module, journal entries, general journals. Then I'm going to define a new journal for the travel expense. And here you will observe that we have a new tab for the financial tags where we can specify and select the default values on the journal header and accordingly it will be copied to the journal lines. So first I'll enter the text number since this is a text. So here I can type anything like ABC001. Then here for the workers, since this is a list, so I can select from the available worker number. So for example, I can select this one. Then here in the line of business, I'm going to select the line of business like retail, save, then lines. Here 
here in the journal lines i'm gonna specify the account like light expenses i don't have financial dimensions but here we can review the financial tags the financial tags somehow like the financial dimension control so here we can see the values here we can review it from this arrow then here let's say like a uh, debit of 100 and here in the offset account let's select any account like cash agb then here we can also specify the offset financial tags or can we can keep it as the main account then i'll click post Now the journal is posted and let's review the generated voucher. Here in the voucher, we can review the financial tags that are linked to this accounting entry. So here we have the ticket number, the worker and the line of business. Now let's review how to correct the tag values after posting. It's possible to modify or edit the financial tags on the posted voucher. First, we should ensure that allow edits to internal data on general ledger vouchers feature is enabled. Then let's navigate to the posted voucher. So here we have a posted voucher and here we can see the ticket number is ABC001. We would like to modify the ticket number and make it ABC100. Here we can just modify a single record or we can modify the entire entry. So here I'll select the two records, then edit voucher, edit internal voucher data. Then here we can review the current financial tags and here the new financial tags. Here in the new financial tags, we can change uh, the financial tag values or we can apply bulk update on the two records at the same time. So I'm gonna select the two records, then here, bulk update selected records then i'll select here the ticket number then i'll enter the new value abc 100 update here we can see the new value then i'll click ok so here we can see the new value now let's move to another point and let's review what will happen if a financial tag is deactivated. So I just deactivated all the financial tags that we have. In addition to that, I have changed the tag values for the line of business. So here for retail, uh, here we have retail underscore old and telecom underscore old. Then let's navigate to the voucher transactions and here we don't have the financial tags. By default, the deactivated financial tags will not appear in the voucher transactions grid. If you would like to display a deactivated financial tag, then we can use this option, show inactive financial tags. So here, for example, I'm gonna uh, select ticket, workers and line of business. Here we have the financial tags and here we can see the transactions still stored the old values. So here we have retail instead of the new value retail underscore old. I'll not say that the financial tags are alternative for the financial dimensions, but I see both should work side by side. Here I'm summarizing the differences between the financial tags and the financial dimensions. So, first, the financial dimension values are global across the legal entities. However, the financial tag values are company specific. The financial dimensions are assigned to an account structure and probably a specific range of accounts. However, the financial tags could be used for all accounts and without account structure. When it comes to the validation, the financial dimensions are validated against the account structure range as well as the financial dimension values. So you cannot enter a value for financial dimension that does not exist. However, it's possible to specify any financial tag value 
even if this value does not exist in a list or custom list. The financial dimension value could be defaulted on the master data files like customers and vendors, but the financial tag is defaulting on the journal or document header, then it will be copied to the journal lines or you can specify it directly on the journal lines. For reporting, the financial dimensions are used in the financial dimension set, then it could be used to display the trial balance, for example, on that test. However, this is not possible with the financial tag. However, you could easily analyze the voucher transactions filtered by a specific financial tag, and accordingly, it could be exported like to Power BI for further analysis. The financial dimensions are not limited. However, many values could have performance impact, but the financial tag is limited for 20 tags. Financial dimensions could be activated only when the system in maintenance mode. However, the financial tag could be activated or deactivated any time, and you could decide to display or not the deactivated financial tags on the posted transactions. Last but not least, it's possible to modify the financial tag on posted vouchers, but this is not possible in the financial dimensions. Thank you for watching and your time. I hope to put the financial tags to good use with the financial dimensions.